How's it going guys and welcome to a new video and this is going to be the one that we've all been waiting for and that is getting the Cobra system on. So I'm going to go ahead, jump straight into it and show you guys how it's going. So yeah guys, we've already started cracking on, got the car jacked up and we're going ahead and getting the induction kit off so we can get the back panel off. Um, this is Andy, he's going to be giving me a hand during this whole thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully this goes as smooth as it'd be like, nice to be. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get the induction kit off, uh, get that panel off and undo the bolts for the downpipe. And then we'll get the car all up on jack stands and go from there. So we've got the intercooler off, uh, intercooler, induction kit off. And we just sprayed the downpipe bolts, which are there. Um, this is going to be a bit tricky than when I took the actual original downpipe off the old one because this has cats. Um, but we'll go ahead, give it a go, and uh, once we get these what we can loose, we'll get the car up and jack stands and go from there. <laughs> so we've just got <laughs> we've just got it in the air. Um, I'm going to get all the jack stands on and then uh, go ahead and start cracking off the exhaust. We've done three bolts of the downpipe, hopefully we'll be able to get to the last one under the car and then we'll go from there. So we're just taking off the centre bracket now and then we're going to go ahead and drop it. Uh, should we drop it from the back or the front first? Back. Yeah. So then it's just these bolts here that take the hanger on um, and then it's just a couple more hangers and then hopefully we should get this all down pretty fast. Okay, so now I've got the uh, rear exhaust brackets off. Um, I've got to just go ahead and get in the rest of them off and we're gonna quickly take the sensor clamp off so we can get this half off and then take the Lambo sensors out. Hopefully drop it all after that. Okay, so we come to the conclusion that these bolts up here are completely rounded off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grinder and just grind straight through this um, clamp and then hopefully should be easy enough. So we've got the... Uh, Rid of the exhaust. Huh? That's, that's it, it's all good to go. <laughs> so it's all now we just need to deal with this downpipe and llama sensor. Okay, so we just have to pull down this cut this plastic um, protector just so we can get to the llama sensor wire and unplug it so we can get the llama sensor off. Um, and then we've obviously got that mount off down there as well, two 13 mil bolts. So yeah, we're almost there. Okay, so to order to get the downpipe off, you need to take the prop out. Uh, so there's three bolts, blind 10 mils, move it to the side, and then we can drop the um, downpipe. So it's a spline 10 mil like that. And then once they're all out, you would have pull it towards you and move it to the side and then get the uh, downpipe out. Okay guys, so that's it now. The whole exhaust is out. Uh, can I just say that this downpipe is definitely, yet again, another job that you definitely need to have some patience for um, because I couldn't get to the bottom nut very easy at all. It took me ages to get it out. Um, and then when it was out, I tried to get the downpipe out and then realized that I needed to take the uh, Lambda sensor out and to do that I need to put it back on the threads to hold the down part so I can get a good grip of the Lambda sensor but anyway it's out now whole system's out thank god I just need to swap everything over now like the exhaust mounts and then we can go ahead and start putting the uh, the new one on okay guys so it's time to put this big ass chunky boy on I believe this is three inch Cobra downpipe 
Um, I don't really see if it is a Cobra. Not really any brand that I can see, but I'm assuming it's Cobra. Um, this is the gasket. I'm gonna put some um, exhaust paste on the gasket and hopefully it will stick to the top here and then it should be. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch words, that it's gonna be a straightforward fit considering this does not have anywhere near as many cats as that one did. Well, this has none, so. Okay guys, so my torch has died and it's currently on charge, but I've got the downpipe on. Ah, oh, you guys can't really see what. But basically I'm gonna be putting the um, prop shaft back in now um, and then go ahead and get the rest of the system on. Luckily, luckily it's got that. That is just the hardest part. It's the downpipe is the hardest part of this whole thing. Um, but hopefully now it should be pretty straightforward. Andy's had to leave, so I'm uh, doing this on my own now. But uh, I'm sure it won't. It would just take a little bit longer, but I'll still get it done. Okay, so downpipe's on. Prop shaft is now bolted in. Everything looks good to go. So we're gonna go ahead, put the bottom exhaust mount here, and then start putting the extra pipes on and get the lambda sensors in. Okay. Okay. Right. So now is it back box back next? Box. Keen. <coughs> okay, so back box is going on. I've just put the um bracket back on here. And I've also got the valves mechanism for the valves on the standard exhaust off so now we're gonna go ahead and get this fitted up and then we're just gonna put all the nice new clamps on well oh yeah there you go it's a clamp on the end there and then yeah okay guys so lambda sensor is in whole exhaust is now together show you guys the back Got my big tips back, thank God. And they're solid as well, not going anywhere. They don't stick to, stick out too far either, so. Pretty good. Okay guys, so. Finally got the whole exhaust on. All brackets are on. All ready to go. Ready to basically be started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start now while it's on the jack stand so we can see if there's any leaks, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. You want to do yours? Really? Oh, is that good? Just crank it, yeah. Oh, that is a lot more chunky, right? Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and check for any leaks and then uh, get back to you guys. Okay guys, so it's completely done now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.